Hey there, we're from Home Queen, Donna Brown here. A local Melbourne girl here to let you know that the virtual assistant industry is not a scam industry. Lots of people are interested in joining this industry in Australia, but are wondering, is it legitimate? Can I legitimately make money working from home in an administrative role? And the short answer is yes, I've been doing it and I've been living in the VA industry for 11 years now, and you definitely can do it. And so continue watching as I go through a ton of information to help you decide whether you're interested in joining the industry. Let's go. Yes, being a virtual assistant does mean you actually can work from home on your couch with your laptop. You legitimately can make money doing this as long as you've got access to very good internet. You should have access to a phone as well because talking to clients and liaising on behalf of clients is something you will have to do eventually. So don't be afraid to make phone calls and talk to people. With these three simple things, you can easily service clients with their social media accounts, so Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn and Instagram. You can manage their bookkeeping if you've got the appropriate skills and certificates. Even basic data entry can be done from home. Don't forget things like websites and graphics. If you've got the skills and the technology access, you can definitely service clients that way. Reception is an option if you have the ability to do it and diary management, for sure. There are so many things that you can do from home, including writing newsletters and blogs for clients from, from your desk, from your couch, from your lounge room. But how much money can you actually make? Now, I teach people how to make a six-figure virtual assistant business, but in the meantime, you easily can make $30 per hour on average as a brand spanking new virtual assistant in Australia. That's the average rate you can charge out, but you can charge more, and of course, you can charge yourself out at less. So here's the clincher though. Being a virtual assistant in Australia means you're running your own business. You're responsible for your own superannuation. You won't get paid annual leave or sick leave. You're not gonna get any other employee benefits. You are running your own business. It's not just like getting an ABN and subcontracting for a company. You're running your own business, sourcing your own clients. You can service as many people as you like, charge the price that you like, do the work that you love, set your own hours, your own rules, but no one is going to push you to keep to make more money unless you do it yourself. That's the biggest thing that most people don't realise in Australia when they want to become a virtual assistant. It's not like you're just registering for a board, uh, a job board, or you're registering for a company and waiting for jobs to land in your lap. Yes, these places do, or they may still exist, um, where they send you out work, but they own the client, not you. They may send you a job, you might do the work, you send it back, but for one thing, you get paid a much smaller percentage than what I mentioned earlier, and secondly, they can take the client away from you whenever they want. It's not your client. So I always encourage brand new virtual assistants that are serious to create their own business that you need to source your own clients because then that you own them and you can charge what you like and you do the work and reap the rewards directly. So what do you do now? Well, for one thing, being a virtual assistant in Australia, as I said, is running your own business. You do need to register for an ABN in order to run a business legally in Australia. Um, and I'm not going to tell you to go and do that because I'm not an advisor. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not your accountant. Go and speak to them about it. But, to, but generally speaking, as a concept, if you're running a business, you need to register for an ABN, an Australian business number. It doesn't cost anything to register, but you need to do it so you can track your income and lodge the appropriate paperwork with the ATO. Where are you gonna find clients? Well, there are lots of places you can find clients, but the most important thing is you actually need to go out there and meet people. You need to do networking. You need to network online and offline, attend live events, talk to people, spread the word, word of mouth. You can hang out on Facebook and other social media platforms. You can attend, um, you can join and participate in um, virtual assistant associations, which have sometimes job leads coming in on your behalf. Again, they're great opportunities, but there are lots of people in these groups, so you need to be able to realize that you're competing with lots of other VAs out there. So I always say to the virtual assistants, if you're sitting at home twiddling your thumbs, waiting for someone to knock on your door to send you a job, it's not going to happen. The more you get out there, the more you talk about it, the more you promote yourself, the more you interact, the more you pay attention to people around you needing help, the more likely you're going to get a client and the faster you're going to grow your business. Now there is absolutely a shit ton of information out there and I don't want to bamboozle you and overwhelm you with all that uh, right now, but if it does interest you and you think, yes, I am prepared to get my own ABN, I am prepared to find clients, service clients, promote my business, manage my own income and my own tax and all of the things associated with it so I can work from home in my own comfort 
and also around my lifestyle, around my children, around hubby shift work, whatever the reason is that's incentivizing you to do this, then reply to me, comment to me, contact me, comment on this video, send me an email, contact me on Facebook, and we'll go from there and see what other information I can give you. I hope this has been an eye opener and has made you realize whether you want to join the industry or not. Because either one is the right answer. You just need to commit if you're going to do it. And if you're not interested in running a business, you just want work and to work from home and not have to worry about anything else, then this is not the industry for you. You'll have to go back on to job boards and speak to friends and family about other people who are looking for employees from home. Because that is the most important thing. No one is going to stop you from achieving success, but you. See you next time.